Time Magazine's political columnist Joe Klein has covered the past 10 presidential elections. In one of his recent articles, he had a scathing observation about the current battle between the president and Governor Romney, saying this, the missing piece is what each would do going forward. You can't have a substantive debate without substance, and this has been the most vapid, vaporous campaign of the 10 presidential races I've covered. Joe Klein's with us this morning. So tell us what you really think is that when I hear that, read a line like that. When you say vapid, why do you feel like it's vapid? There's no substance. I mean, what, they, what both campaign, I mean, this isn't a new observation about this campaign. We've all been watching it over the summer. I mean, the Obama campaign has been almost entirely negative, and the uh, Romney campaign has been almost entirely filled with platitudes without any really um, any real detail about what they would do going forward. And some would argue, well, then if you don't have detail, we've seen this argument certainly around the Medicare issue, right? You don't have detail, then no one can jump in and attack your detail. You can win mm -hmm. on a sort of a spin versus having to defend a plan or... Well, or the worst part of it is that when you do have detail, as the president does with his Medicare proposal, or Ryan does with his Medicare proposal, it can be easily distorted by the other side. I mean, you know, a lot of the things that the Romney campaign says are cuts to Medicare are things that are, are efficiencies that are going to make the program better that Brian agreed with in his budget. Right, but so wouldn't that argue for then low on the details, don't let anybody have well, any ammunition right, to be exactly. able to say we're going to cut Medicare. And you know what? I'll tell you what. We are a big part of the problem. We the media. in the media. Yes, we are. Because we don't do substance very well, especially on TV. Well, so, yeah, but Joe, so I, can I just disagree a little bit? Yeah. I mean, we know if Mitt Romney wins, we know what Republicans in Congress want to do. As Grover Norquist, Norquist right. says, we just want an auto pen president. This is a, the Republican Party right now is a con congressionally led party. And I think Romney put an exclamation point on that by picking Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan's budget, while not as detailed as uh, it could be, we have a sense of where he wants to go. So even though the candidates aren't out there with uh, specifics, don't we know where they want to go? And the isn't public the doesn't. press not no. pointing that out? The, 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 the public doesn't, and yeah. uh, and that's a big problem. I mean, it's a big problem with the Obama presidency, presidency since day one. You know, as I travel around the country, which I do a lot, you ask people what's in the Affordable Care Act, they have no idea. They have no idea what's in Dodd-Frank, the financial regulatory reform bill. They had no idea what was in the stimulus until the road crews started showing up. They did know about the auto ballot. Yeah. Though. Whose fault was that? I'm with, I'm with, I'm with, Obama's. Yeah, I'm, I'm with I'm with Ryan though on that. I mean, I think obviously there are, there are details that are missing, and the focus of the campaign has mostly been on kind of personal attacks uh, back and forth. But we know enough to know that we have a very divergent direction that the two sides are offering. I, I would argue right. the, the, the widest since at least 1964. And the way politics works now, it is much more of a team sport than when either one of us began covering it. The ability even of a president, I think, to depart from the party mainstream and consensus is diminished. And if you look at kind of the Ryan direction, which I think Romney would largely embrace, repealing Dart Frank, repealing the Affordable Care Act, um, repealing the EPA's ability to regulate carbon, versus what we know, and there's a lot more, I think, on the Obama side we don't know, you're still talking about probably the widest divergence is Goldwater and Johnson. And, and I think I'm that's not, clear for people. I, I'm just not sure that, that I know that Romney would go in that direction. He'd go to a, in that direction to a certain extent. But I think that, the, that there's going to be a civil war in the Republican Party if, if Romney wins, and there's going to be a civil war in the Republican he's, Party he's if Romney very loses. specific commitments. Well, here's the biggest thing that, that, that Joe said is important. You guys keep saying, we know. Do they know? See, right. we no, sit. No, 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 no. We we sit here enmeshed in this, and we, we live it, we yeah, breathe it. That. But the reality is, when somebody makes a comment, whether it's about a birth certificate, whether it's about a dog on top of, of a car, all of a sudden, that's where all the questions are. You know, I look at I look at some of these interviews lately, not only of the candidates, but even of surrogates. And when you say they are devoid of actually pressing people on the critical issues that people should be concerned about. They're missing. And so we can't sit here and just say, we know. The fact of the matter is, we don't matter. The folks yeah. voting matter. That is not unique to 2012. I mean, they're, you know, the, I'm not the, saying the, it the is. details of policy are always elusive in presidential campaigns for the mass of voters. But I think there is a sense of direction uh, that both of these too. candidates have given that is very different about the way they would take and the country. the other country. thing and I would say is what's unique is we know the fiscal cliff is coming, so we know who's ever elected is going to have to deal with that.